that time again. B D C B D C B D C Hey, what up? What's going on, everyone, everywhere? B D C here, back for another video presentation. Now, this is going to be a very short video. At least I'm going to try to make it very short. I'm going to be doing something that many people here on YouTube have videos on. I'm going to be sublimating on a Dollar Tree canvas. This is 100% cotton. But when we put down the dermal lamination paper, which is polyester, we can sublimate on it. So, let's go. I'm going to lay down a piece of this uh, butcher paper on top of my press to protect my, uh, my press or my mat. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, butterfingers. Come on, man. Come on. Hold on, hold on. Now let me tell you guys something. When you get this canvas from the Dollar Tree, right? It says that it is 8 by 10. Well, actually, when I measured it, it was an 8 by 10. Yeah, it's, it is an 8 by 10. But our picture is a 8.5 by 11, 8 and a half by 11, right? So we can make it sure to get the entire picture just like this one. You want to get the the entire picture within the on the to the canvas. So in order to get the entire picture onto the canvas, we make it the picture eight and a half by eleven. That's the size you want to print out. So let me go ahead and finish setting this up. I'll be back. I'm coming back. So check your canvas. Make sure you don't have no lint, no dust on your canvas. Even though you shouldn't because you just took it out of the pack. You might see little black uh, dots like this. Can you see that? Can y'all see that? Well, anywho, you might see little black specks on your canvas. Don't worry about that. That's embedded within the cotton. Well, I just give mine a little blow just to be on the safe side. Let's place it down. Let me turn you guys around over here. Okay. So just place your canvas down right there onto your thing. And then I will take my lamination sheet or one of them. I have a whole pack. These are Scotch lamination thermal sheets. Do not get the one with the adhesive. I don't know if I said that, I, I forgot. Throughout the commotion, I forgot. So don't judge me if I did say it already. I'm saying it again. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to just find the opening like so. Now you can cut it down the middle with some scissors or you can just rip it down the middle. Because it rips very easily down the seam. Take your other sheet, put it to the side, because you're going to save that for another time. Waste not, want not. Yeah, me. So now, you're going to have a side that looks rather dull. Let me turn this around right quick. You're going to have a side that looks kind of dull. And then you're going to have a side that's shiny. Can y'all see the shine? You see the shine? The shiny side is the side that you want to put up. Upward facing you, facing the ceiling, onto your canvas. So, shiny side up. Make 
sure it's evened off onto your canvas. Okay, that's cool. But you know what I got to do? Hold up. Let me see something here. Let's move this out the way. I ain't trying to butt it. Yeah, I got to change the setting, the heat, temperature, and everything on my press because I was already doing one. So I got to change the setting. Now, for me, I use... 355, no, 385, do, set 385, 385, 385 for 10 seconds, just long enough to let the uh, lamination paper melt around and into, onto the canvas. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this go ahead and um, heat on up. And we will be right back. 